Hi there, how are you? And welcome to my capo shootout. This morning in the post, I got this uh, brand new capo. It's a Performance 3 guitar capo by uh, G7th. Um, looks pretty cool. It's black and stuff. Uh, I've been using these for about a thousand years, this Shub capo. Um, what happened recently, I've actually got two uh, and one of them died. So uh, this bit came off. I mean, it, you know, I've had it for 25 years or something, so that's uh, a pretty good run. Um, these are about 30 bucks here in Australia. And the, this was, uh, uh, it was around $70. Um, so uh, it's gonna have to be twice as good, right? So let's just check it out. Now, um, I've got my guitar in regular tuning here. <laughs> I checked it before uh, we kicked the video off and it's uh, it's pretty much perfectly in tune. Um, so, uh, with this, this works really, really simply. You basically put th this part on the strings, right? And uh, this bit holds the back of your guitar. The rubber is, is, is kind of a bit fingery. The thing with those kind of big close peg style ones, I find sometimes the rubber can be a bit a bit hard and actually can push the guitar out of tune because you know effectively it's pushing really 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 hard on the strings and therefore then you need to retune your guitar once you've put the cape on which you know is a bit of a pain but when you're doing gigs or you know I've played um, lots of companies co companies uh, I've accompanied rather lots of singer songwriters and, and 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 you know I've been moving the caper around and it's a real pain when you have to kind of constantly rejig stuff um, so let's put it on here. We're going to put it on the third fret today, and there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, if, with this sort of situation, you feel like you're whoops, this situation. If you feel like you're pushing this bit really, really, really hard to get it on, it's basically you're pushing the string too hard. So you're going to put the guitar out of tune, right? So if it just goes kind of plonk like it just did. Anyway, uh, so that's how that one works. Now, this one here has got something called adaptive radius technology. Um, it says here on the packet, which revolutionary new active string pad infinitely adapts to match any guitar perfectly. Wow, that's pretty epic. So let's uh, let's put this on. I wonder if we might put it that way. Let's see. Oh, maybe we won't put it on that way, but anyway, I'll explain why in a second. But a bit zinging. Maybe I need to get the guitar set up. But um, the, perf the capo is working perfectly. Let's uh, see how the tuning is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, really good. That sounds pretty nice too. Okay, so how we get it off the guitar, you see there's this, easy fellas, easy. Uh, you see there's that little button here, and so all you do is you just push it, and it releases. So we got it there, there it is, you push it together, it clicks, and then you just basically pull that thing and it releases. Let's do that again. Push, and then See if I can do this without dropping it. There you go. So you just basically push this up towards the bit that touches the guitar and it just releases really quickly. So you can see that you can imagine that if you know, if you're where we got here playing the guitar, we just need to squeeze it and that's how you put it on. I know that should be at the second fret, you know, guitar nerds. Uh, but so you see, this worked pretty easily. It's pretty easy to get on. Pretty good, I reckon. Pretty good. Uh, I think that's more of a my guitar issue than the capo. 
Incidentally, if that ever really happens to you with strings and they're zingy or they're going out of tune all the time or something like that, probably just because you need new strings. Um, the thing I find is that nowadays I use Elixir strings, which are absolutely amazing. They last forever. Um, that's kind of part of the problem, though, because, you know, once they're dead, they still don't sound that dead. So, uh, but you still need to change them. Um, uh, a little top tip is when you change the strings, keep the case that the strings came in, write the month and year in which you changed the strings, and hey presto, you will always know when you change the strings, it's easy to forget. Yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? Good, pretty good in tune. Okay, there you go. That's my uh, little shootout, shootout between uh, the Shub capo. I understand they've changed how this works. There's a little wheel here nowadays, so uh, that's uh, that's that's good because it means there's just less push. There will be less of a clunk when. It, um, the reason I was attracted to this is just the fact that you can push it on so quickly. I mean, I know there's not a massive difference in there, but there's something just a bit unwieldy sometimes about the way that it flaps around. Um, so I guess uh, in a few months' time we'll figure out if I prefer this and have this for another 25 years or I'm still going to go back to using this thing. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, I have absolutely stacks of... Um, videos that are available here on YouTube, I think 348 this one could be, of uh, lesson videos. Typically it's songs, but there's every so often there's a little chat about gear and stuff. I'm trying to do more and more um, as we go. Um, and I will hopefully see you next time. Give me a like, maybe let me know what you think, which one you think sounds better or is better, or what do you have, what do you use. Um, be good to hear from you. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.